It's been awfully quiet this weekend at Jay Bergman Field as the home crowd of the UCF Knights have had very little to cheer about as the visiting UConn Huskies were able to take the first two games of this three-game set, outscoring their opponents 22-10. to Of course, UConn could not complete the sweep. They dropped the last game on Sunday by a score of 5-1. to The UConn Huskies were carried heavily by their pitching. Their two top guys, Carson Cross and Anthony Kaye, took the first two games in this series, only giving up two runs combined one of them earned anthony k had a solid game on saturday he went the distance a complete game nine strikeouts carson cross on friday opened the game gave the ucf fans nothing to cheer about only one earned run as ucf was just silent their bats completely silent this being one of the stronger hitting teams in the American Conference. On the other side, the UConn Huskies were hitting the ball, hitting the lights out of the ball. They outscored the UCF Knights this series 22-10. to Of course, only one earned run in this final game of the three-game series, but they scored 15 in the second. Max McDowell hit a home run. Ryan Daniello hit his first home run of the season. On Friday, Vinny Siena led the way with three hits. They had a great game. They had a great series overall. The games were, were great, hitting the crap out of the ball, and... You know, making defensive plays, but you know, you always want to try and get that last one, get that sweep. We've struggled with that this year a bunch, and you know, it still stings even though we won the weekend. Uh, just go to work tomorrow. We have an off day. It's a good time to get a lift in and you know, fix some things that guys might want to work on, and just go and and play hard. I thought we did, we had a good approach approach offensively. I think for the most part all weekend, um, you know, I thought we did a good job with our bats. It was. Uh, you know, you're going up a good against a really good offense, and I thought uh, for two days our offense, you know, uh, went toe to toe with them pretty well. And then today, you know, they they uh, they look like the offensive club, and we kind of took a back seat. But a lot of that had to do with the guy on the mound. The Huskies finished this series now 22 and 13 on the season, five and four in conference play. Of course, this road trip is not over yet, as they will travel to Fairfield University later in the week, and then Bryant later in the week as well to get ready for their home series against ECU. From Jay Bergman Field in Orlando, Florida, I'm Anthony DiBernardo, and this is UC Sports.